In this video, I am going to explain the stresses in the curved beams. So the figure is given in the question and the question is a crane hook which carries a load of 5 kN. The load is applied here. A load of 5 km W is given as 5 kilo Newton so is equal to 5000 Newton and also given the diagram also find the stresses at inner and outer surfaces so you have to find the stresses so here inner surface as well as the outer surface stress at both surfaces so I made a section access here for the problem xx and their cross section is in the trapezoidal shape so this trapezoidal shape cross section is separately made and all the parameters are given separately in a geometry so all dimension are millimeter hope the question is very clear to you load is given as 5000 newton and inner surface here parameter all the dimension you have to take it from this diagram only okay only load is given in the uh, question inner surface this is ri ri is equal to 25 millimeter where r naught is equal to 65 it means inner and outer this one is outer this one is inner and area you have to calculate area for the trap uh, trapezium is half h a plus b okay so for example this is an trapezium like this so say this is A, this is B and this is H height. A is given as 6 B, and B is given as 18 and H is given as 40. Okay. So half H is equal to 40 and A is 6 and B is 18. Now you can calculate this. So got as 480 millimeter square as the cross section area. So, for example, for this case, it is an, a hook where the load is applied at a distance of x. It means it is an, a stresses in eccentric loading. So, in this case, in, in this type of case, we will generally have the two types of stresses that are induced in the object. One is the direct stress, another is the bending stress. Okay. So, direct stress which is acting in the tensile rest. So maximum or direct tensile stress in the section xx it will be load by area it means w by a load is 5000 and area of cross section is 480 5000 by 480 will get 10.42 and stress will be newton per millimeter square now bending stress maximum bending stress so where the maximum bending stress for example for this uh, hook it having one is intersurf uh, internal surface another is the outer surface it means we'll have the two bending stress here one will be internal another it will be for example sigma another will be outer okay outer bending sigma b outer so which i mentioned as sigma bi and sigma b naught and equation will be m y by a e r okay for inner surface this is a inner surface and this is for outer surface same formula okay m y a e by r so here you should know what is m m is nothing but it's a, a bending moment about the neutral axis and why why you should know it is an a distance from the neutral axis to the centroid and here is a cross section uh, of the trapezium and e what e is the distance from the centroidal axis to the neutral axis okay any object is having the central like centroidal axis and also neutral axis that will be mentioned in the diagram you can clearly check what is e here so this is a neutral axis and this is a centroidal axis so the distance from the uh, neutral axis to the central axis it will be termed as a e okay and here this is the x is the distance from the line of 
or loading this is a line of loading to the centroidal axis okay this point will be centroidal as mentioned as c c as the centroidal axis and where n it indicates neutral axis okay so now you can create the depression also from centroidal axis to the line of loading that will be x right and b not b i y not y i everything which is very clearly mentioned 25 is what it is the inner uh, radius of the inner and rn rn is what it is uh, rn is equal to what it is the radius of curvature for neutral axis radius of curvature for neutral axis this rn and r is again cap r that represent the radius of curvature for the centroidal axis both that you have to see very clearly this r is nothing but it is the radius um, what is the radius of inner surface rn is the radius of curvature for neutral axis and r is what it is the radius of curvature for the centroidal axis this r now r not so r not is what it is the r not is the radius for the outer surface okay outer inner surface that we have mentioned already this 2565 and rn r i explain just now okay so these are required just to substitute in the equation okay so if you understand the diagram that is very easy to solve this type of question so if this m is nothing but it is the bending moment bending moment is equal to load into the distance x x already is mentioned in the question here this x it is a distance from the centroidal axis to the line of loading right so that x m and y is y is the uh, it is a distance from the neutral axis to the inner surface so for here we are calculating for inner so let us make as i r i and o o that you have to make it change y i y is nothing but r n minus r i from the diagram okay these are created now a is the cross sectional area that you know and already e is the what it is a distance from the neutral axis to the central axis e so e is equal to r minus r n okay now all the terms i have explained this you have to calculate to substitute in this equation that's it similarly same for the outer surface stays in the outer surface m is equal to again same w into x why not you have to calculate why not is equal to what here it is r not minus rn as per the diagram this equation it will be modified now why not is over and area of cross section is r minus rn and r not okay r not is the outer surface radius right so first we will calculate for this uh, what is that radius of curvature for centroidal axis so how we will get the radius of curvature for central axis r okay so r can be calculated just having this uh, check, uh, table okay for uh, based upon the our cross sectional area of the hook uh, this equation you will be getting okay if it is in trapezium you are having this in the data and book so for rn and r value right this you will get in the data and book if you refer rn value and rn what is r r is the radius of curvature for centroidal axis and rn is the radius of curvature for neutral axis okay so both you just write down and let us come to the main diagram so you know what is rn from the diagram or table just now i explained from the table and rn also from the table write down that equation okay both this r and 
R and Rn value you will get it from there. Okay. So after getting the R and Rn, then you have to substitute this R Ri. Okay. So this Yi you will get Rn value. You have to substitute here, and Ri is the inner surface radius. So that you will get Yi, and also you will get the E by taking as R minus Rn. Okay. And Wx. So only the uh, what is that the dish unknown unknown value it will be x here how do you calculate the x x is nothing but it is an r r is what is it directly equal to x as for the diagram here you can check so this is x here and with the same distance from the distance from the central load axis to the line of loading having the same r value okay central axis to the line of loading same it means x is equal to r so you will get this also what is that bending moment so there is nothing unknown here just you have to substitute everything in this equation then you will get the sigma bi and also sigma b naught okay so the after getting this sigma bi and b naught so you have to calculate the resultant stresses that is r r is equal to sigma bi plus sigma b uh, sorry sigma for internal resultant stress for the internal it means ri resultant stress at inner surface equation will be sigma bi plus sig sigma t is what it is the direct stress which you call calculated before in the starting okay so sigma bi it means this equation answer you have to substitute here plus sigma t sigma t is the initially you have calculated now load by area that is 10 that you have to be add here so that you will get the nurse resultant for the inner surface similarly you have to calculate for outer also sigma b o plus sigma t so after calculating these two you have to calculate the what no, that's it you have to calculate the stresses at internal surface and also stresses at the outer surface so generally the stress at the inner surface it will be getting as tensile okay inner surface you are getting as tensile where in case of outer surface it will be the compressive it will be compressive stress okay hope you have got the solution for this type of question okay thank you thank you for watching